हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर चैप्टर नंबर फाइव दैट इज बाउंटीफुल नेचर ओके एंड इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू रीड अबाउट द नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज सो बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर यू शुड नो वॉट आर नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज ओके सी आवर अर्थ कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ वराइटी ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज लाइक लाइट एयर वाटर प्लांट्स सॉइल मिनरल्स एंड फॉसिल फ्यूल्स बट द क्वेश्चन इज वाई दे आर कॉल्ड नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज बिकॉज दे आर मटेरियल्स आर दे आर द सब्सटेंसेज दैट आर ऑकरिंग इन द नेचर एंड विच कैन बी यूज बाय अस टू मेक डिफरेंट थिंग सो ऑल दिज नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज दे आर यूज बाय अस टू प्रिपेयर मेनी थिंग्स और they are used by us to make many things okay and these natural resources just now i told you water land that is soil <coughs> crops fossil fuels uh, forest animals minerals wind sunlight etc okay these are all natural resources and we are using these all the natural resources in one or the another way okay so mankind requires these natural resources for survival for our survival air is important air is also natural resource so air is important then water is important soil is important other animals are important okay so all these natural resources they are important for our survival there was a time when human begins uh, human beings did not know about these uh, natural resources they even did not know how to use these resources but with time they <coughs> they uh, found out the ways to use these all the natural resources okay so natural resources are the materials or substances occurring in nature and they can be used by us to make different things then there are different types of uh, natural resources the types of natural resources are renewable and non renewable resources so what are renewable resources see there are some resources which can be used again and again such as sun's heat and wind okay these resources can be used again and again again and again we can use them okay so that's why they are called renewable resources and this can be used for millions of years to come next few uh, ne- in our future we can use them for millions of years that's why they are called renewable resources renew means to make again okay or to form again or use again that's why they are called renewable resources these renewable resources can be used or they uh, they are provided with us up and with abundant supply of energy and these renewable resources give us or provide us uh, supply of energy for example uh, the natural resources like forest agricultural crops then animals wind grasses water these are all renewable resources we can use them again and again once used then we can use them again okay so they are also regarded as renewable resources as they can be reproduced in favorable condition see water flow uh, flowing from mountains can be used for uh, generating electricity water that flows from the mountains they uh, that water is used to make electricity Uh, at the dams you know so you may have seen any water uh, or because uh, you have seen dam and any electricity plant if you have seen then you uh, you will understand uh, how water is used to make hydro electricity okay water is may used to make hydro electricity and that electricity is used by us okay there are some other resources which are uh, not renewable they are non renewable means once uh, they are used then we cannot they uh, get them back and these resources takes uh, take millions of years to form 
for example minerals that we dig out from the earth inside the earth and these minerals are uh, formed before millions of years and if you want to make them again you have to uh, wait for millions of years okay and metals also metals will also we get from the earth then fossil fuel fossil fuel means the fuels that we get from earth that is petrol kerosene then uh, diesel then uh, uh, natural gas these are the fossil fuels and we get these fossil fuels from inside the earth and these fossil fuels took millions of years to form okay so uh, and uh, if they are used extensively by us if we uh, keep using them continuously without any uh, thinking then these resources will get finished we will not them we will not get them back that's why they are called non renewable resources okay uh, we can grow forest we can grow crop crops uh, also we can uh, keep the animals and we can uh, uh, also uh, use wind and we can use water again and again but these resources if they are used once then we cannot get them back okay so these resources are available on the earth in a limited supply they are limited on the earth we cannot make them and if we are not careful and do not find alternate resources means if we will not use any other uh, resource uh, in place of them then we may soon run out of these resources they will be finished and we will not get them back okay and uh, here one more uh, one more reason for calling them non renewable resources because they cannot be used forever okay they cannot be used forever then uh, we have uh, this uh, resources there are some resources that are used directly can you name okay these resources are food that we eat hai na the crops that we grow the vegetables water water we drink as it is no then fruits vegetables other crops food and water mostly they are consumed directly or used directly by us as food and, and water but there are some resources they have to be refined we cannot use them directly in the uh, form they occur okay for that we have to refine them or we have to make them pure see uh, the petroleum uh, that we are getting from inside the earth that is a uh, crude oil we can say it is crude oil it is dark in color dark black in color this petroleum when it is uh, taken out from the or dug, dug out from the uh, inside the earth it is in impure form but this petroleum is taken to the refinery and in refineries they are refined or made pure and different things are made from them like petrol kerosene diesel etc okay so they have to make we have to make them uh, pure or we have to refine them before use we, we cannot use them as it is they are getting from the okay. again the minerals that we get from the uh, inside the earth you know so these ores there are different ores mixed with the rocks and these rocks are first dug out from the uh, inside the earth and then they are made pure in the refineries and then metals are extracted from them okay so these are the again uh, about the resources then why these natural resources are so important for us what are the importance uh, what are the uh, what is the importance of the natural resources see the most important part of this natural resources is that they are used in many industries many industries are running because of these natural resources like coal coal is the most important part of the uh, these natural resources coal is used in thermal uh, power stations 
okay and you know before this uh, steam uh, before this uh, electric engine engines uh, we were using coal to run the railways also and the railway engines so coal industry uh, or mining of coal is very important as we are using it in different industries okay then copper aluminium these are another uh, iron iron is also there so these are another uh, or other uh, minerals that are used to make different things see aluminium foil that you use uh, for your tiffins no to pack the foods aluminium foil then uh, different parts of uh, automobiles are also made up of uh, aluminium and iron then from copper we use uh, or we make wires and utensils and right? so electricity wire also contain this uh, copper inside them then foils we make from aluminium iron is used in many industries to make machines and all uh, other parts of machines then rubber rubber is a natural resource and right? it is used to make pipes and tires okay so due to this these all the uh, natural resources they are used in many industries okay so the things that we use they are made into the industries with the help of these natural resources then food industry food from land like uh, from land means they are grown on the land we use that is grains fruits vegetables you know different types of grasses we use them as our food and this food or these crops and grains and uh, uh, other uh, crops they are uh, used to make different food items you know in the factories some food we eat directly but some foods they are uh, processed in the food industries and then we consume them okay then water we also eat seafood that we get from water and you know, different types of animals like crabs then uh, shrimps then fishes different types of fishes we eat so these all are known as the seafood so food industry also it runs on the natural resources then paper industry we know that paper we most of the paper we make that comes from the uh, forest wood you know many forests are cut to make this paper and paper industry is very uh, large industry as paper is used for many purposes to make books and copies and files and papers different types of papers okay so paper industry is also uh, run on this natural resources then we have wind and water energy see water uh, wind is used to make uh, Uh, electricity like you may have seen the windmills and uh, no? windmills are used to make what windmills are used to make electricity and this windmills use the wind or the moving energy of the wind it is used by these windmills okay then water hydro electricity we just uh, uh, discuss it so water energy uh, we use it in the uh, to make the hydro electricity okay hydro electricity then sunlight most of the sunlight that we use it is used to uh, run different appliances and they these appliances or these machines they use the heat energy of the sun okay and what are these appliances how we use this sunlight or heat energy of the sun we use them in the solar appliances solar appliances means you must have know know about the solar cells that we use in calculators and watches then uh, cookers solar cookers are there we used to make uh, cook food then solar heaters are used to um, heat the water uh, then uh, solar lamps are there solar lamps are there See, solar lamps also use the heat energy of the sun okay so solar cells solar cookers solar heaters uh, solar lamps uh, these are all the 
appliances that are using solar energy that is sunlight okay so this is the importance of our natural resources so we will stop here in our next video we will discuss about the conservation of these resources and uh, alternative resources of these uh, alternative resources of these natural resources okay so till then take care bye bye